Have you ever accidentally eaten something that made you feel a little bit nasty the next day? Constant toilet trips, over-exaggerating gases, stomach sounds like a volcano erupting, or your father on Christmas afternoon after he's finished all the Brussels sprouts no one else wanted. Maybe you've taken something that you should have. Did you start feeling a little dazed, phased, possibly hazed? Started seeing spirals on your walls whilst your dog sits in the corner staring at you? He just knows. Starts talking to you, giving you instructions, telling you what to do. Suddenly... You hear a loud bang, or so you think, and in your mind it's suddenly the Germans invading for the third time. You batten down the hatches, engage your defences, lock the doors, lock the windows, baseball bat is grabbed, tins of beans stocked in the cupboard, dad's bike helmet on. We've all done some stuff that we might not think was particularly clever, leaving us in a certain state of mind of, at the time, we regret and would rather not be in. We always think, why have I done this? What am I doing? I once met all my mates when I was a bit younger, and we, uh, and we potentially tried a little bit of the herbal tea. Now, when we were younger, this was a big deal. As we partaked in such act, we heard some leaves rustle behind us and we noticed someone was walking. We all sharted ourselves and darted. I jumped through a bush, dived to my hands and knees and crawled as if I was applying for the Marines and cut my arms and my legs everywhere so I wasn't caught by some random dog walker who probably didn't even notice us. Two of my mates turned around and ran. One ran straight into a sharp branch and ended up cutting his face, bleeding and getting his bag stuck in the branches which he could not get down at the time. He was spotted by the walker who probably thought he was some alcoholic homeless person who had just been awoken from their slumber. The other sprang home and never came back out afterwards. I shit you not, they stayed in their room because they did not trust going outside because they thought they'd be arrested or something. They never did explain themselves or whatever. The, my other friend, however, just stood still as if the walker wouldn't see him as if he was like Drax, you know, in I was like, I mastered the ability to turn invisible standing still. The funny thing was, though, the person who wasn't spotted in the end was the one who didn't move. Of course, the dog walker wouldn't have given a shit anyway and would have probably joined in if we uh, had stopped and asked. Now, later that day, uh, our certain senses in our body were tingling, shall we say. My spidey sense was ding, 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 ding. We thought maybe we were addicted for 10 seconds after just a few puffs each, but no. Instead, we noticed it was our stomach itching and begging for one thing and one thing only. We'd caught a case of the munchies. <laughs> Being English, we knew there was only one thing which would fill this void in our stomach. We ventured to the local fish and chip shop. As my order was called, I went to go pick it up off the counter. The man shut the container for me, put my cutlery on top, and I went to go pick it up. Sounds simple enough of a task for most people with two functioning in arms. However, I really couldn't wrap my head around it. I kid you not, and this is not an exaggeration, about one minute thirty to two minutes of my life, I tried picking up the fish and chip container off the side counter with my hands. Like, like any normal human being would you know not a not a strange task is it it's quite a normal average thing to do however i just could not do it my arms were not coordinating with my brain to this day i have no idea whether it's because it was hot or i thought i would drop it i felt like it was going to bend i remember sort of like moving it and it wouldn't stay solid but obviously it would that's what they're made for uh, maybe i thought i would drop it but the task was far too much for me and my fried brain to handle the guy behind the counter eventually grabbed it with one hand after having a chuckle i can only presume to himself passed it to me and looked me dead in the eyes as if I was just being interrogated for stealing his cat. He opened his crusty dry lips and said, nice eyes mucker. I paused and I turned around slowly. Terrified, I marched out of the fish shop. What was this guy going to do? Was he going to ruin my life? So young, so much going for me, not really, I had nothing going for me, but so much of my life left. Would he tell my mum, my dad, would I get spanked by the time I get home? Or worse, would the popo be told? Would the police be waiting for me on the next corner? Who knows? And surprisingly, none of that ever happened though. Uh, I never went inside that fish and chip shop for about three, four years just to be safe and sorry. You know, I felt like I was on five star wanted level on GTA. That shit had to go down. Couldn't I couldn't go in there because otherwise, ding, 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 the FBI would turn up and rob me before I could eat me fish and chips. Even if I went with my parents as well, I would just say, I'll wait outside. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll just wait outside. You, you guys go in. Now, what a random story, you might say, perhaps, but it leads into this. I found, let's say, the luckiest sheeps in the world you've probably seen on the screen who managed to have the biggest bonanza the biggest party the biggest session the boys will ever want all for free can you believe it as you can see my story has some relevance can you believe it keep off that grass it reports a herd of sheep eats 100 kilograms of carnabis 
100 kilograms of can air base in Greece after there are storms. What the hell? So obviously in Greece, there's been heat waves, wildfires, extreme flooding uh, over the summer as if global warming. Thanks to uh, everyone doing that, including myself. Don't worry, I'm fucking drive a car. And uh, basically lots of the farmland and animals have died and been destroyed. So they've been struggling to chew down on food, shall we say. So their nose has got tingling. They were... <laughs> What the, what the fuck is that lovely thing? They got dragged, shall we say, to a greenhouse producing medical cannabis. And probably, you know, let's all admit it, the farmer's probably got a little pot for himself. No, nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. Now, the owner said the crop had been uh, badly damaged by the waves and uh, the sheep had finished what was left, which is 100 kilograms of cannabis. These boys right here, they were tripping balls. They were seeing things no man or woman had ever seen before. So these little fellas were there enjoying the sun, tripping dick, while the world around them was spinning round. Imagine that you eat something and you suddenly start tripping dicks. I'll always remember in my high school, someone I know, not very well a couple years below me, he once gave his teacher an edible brownie in class and the teacher got taken to hospital because he didn't know what the fuck was going on. That kid got excluded and sent to another school unsurprisingly because he drugged someone. What a fucking crazy story that is, holy shit. But the herd had been grazing in flooded plains in central Greece, got a bit of a whiff, followed it, found 100 kilos of bloody cannabis, started chewing it, really liked it, and finished the lot. The heat wave obviously had uh, destroyed lots of plants, animals, all that stuff, which is obviously horrible to see. Here's a picture of the floods, our thoughts and uh, conditions and whatever our feelings go towards them. Horrible shit, however, we're here for the funny story of around sheep eating cannabis. Can we just have a moment? I want you guys to comment. What do you think they started seeing? What do you think was there? What would you start seeing after a little bit of the herbal tea in a uh, piece of paper, which was, you know, less than probably, you know, probably one gram of we say they ate a hundred times that a hundred times i can only imagine what they were seeing climbing up the walls and seeing in the sun they probably started seeing a sheep god in the sky it's like oh my god sally the sheep god i see you looking down bestow upon me please don't let me get turned into mincemeat please no but these sheep had the best well probably day of their life i mean if you ate that sort of shit it's probably gonna last forever isn't it and i mean i think they probably you know let's be honest had a really nice time of it a really nice trip Got it. what do you guys think though I want to hear your guys' opinions on this. Do you think this is the greatest story of all time? Do you think these sheep really enjoyed themselves and were just sat in the fields? Mount? Do you think they got munchies? Maybe they got munchies and just started eating everything. Started eating the bloody bark. Started eating maybe each other. Who knows? I don't fucking know. Maybe they got a bit of a taste for that and they went, I need food. Give me food because there's nothing else to eat. They would have been desperate. They would have started eating dirty water. Fucking they might have started eating birds. Who knows? Obviously, uh, this is a very serious rainstorm though. It's killed 17 people and and uh, it's the worst since 1930, just an FYI. So it's obviously a very, very serious matter. However, this is a very funny story in a very serious matter. I think it's important to report this sort of shit. Brilliant to see that these sheep had the best evening of their lives. Hey, I bloody love to see it.